Well, this is February 26th. We're down here in Maysville, Kentucky. Got Luke, got Red. That's how many hunts you've been here? No, that's my third one. Third hunt. Yep. We got uh, Cam, we got May, and we got old Mac, don't we? Yep. yep. It's about 7 o'clock. Yeah, 7.30. Going to be down below freezing tonight. I think it's around 30, 35 right now. Had a big rain come in the last few days. The ground is sloppy, so we got to really watch where we go and not to get hung up in the truck. So we got this big giant to push us out if we do. You guys ready to get out here and tree some coons? Oh, Let's yeah. go. Y'all, thanks for watching. This is Kentucky Coon. <laughs> Well, the dog just got struck in here, not 20 yards from us, as you can hear. Cam's running around this field, opening up. May's right here. Well, Cam's opening up down here. We actually turned them loose, and one of them go this way. They went down this way and struck right in on the creek. They smelt the track when we was coming in here. I'm glad to see Cam opening his mouth up here. Thank you. Sure sounds good. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is awesome. Nice. This ain't ready. Yep. Moves in there lighting them up. Well, May has treed. Cam's in there with her. They're 375 yards away from where we're standing. We're kind of following along with them. We'll be there right here in a minute. We've seen coons sitting all over this place, so we're bound to have one treat here. Well, we got down here. Coon is on the other side of the big tree. It's broke out a little bit. I don't really think there's a hole in it, but the bark sure tore off of it, ain't it, Luke? Yeah, it sure is. There's a den tree right beside of it. Coon is straight up above us here. Good little start to the hunt right there. That didn't take very long, did it? Mm -mm. But, uh, there's a lot more land to hunt here, so we're going to turn the moose again and try to tree one more in here. Ready, boys? I'm ready. Let's go. Well, we got over here and turned May loose, and she just stuck in down here, 166 yards. You can probably hear her barking back there in the background. Yeah. Wait till she gets treated up and go see what she got. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. There's that pup. Yeah, that pup's shocking me, too. We like the sound of that, don't we, buddy? Oh, yeah. There he is. Get on that tree, Tim. Yeah. Just our luck, Cam goes to tree in a little bit. Right here's a big hole in the tree on the inside. I'm just going to get him and get out of here. Yeah, we just got Mike out of the truck here. We're going to put him down in the hollow so he can get a trip to the tree. We'll be walk hunting him just like we was the other couple dogs there. When Red come down, he's playing with a donkey. Still hunting the same exact farm we was on, just another side of it. Where's he at, Luke? 80 yards. 
Just needs a hunting a little bit, ain't he? Yeah. Sound like Mike just bumped the track there. How far is he now? 100 yards. We've done more walking to turn dogs loose than we have going to trees, ain't we? Yeah, indeed. There he is. There he is. Max is hitting a tree here. He is 65 yards from us. Sounds good, don't it, Luke? find the coon in him, but the coon is sitting right up here somewhere. Where's that, Red? Right there. Right here's a coon sitting in, right in here, right there where that laser is. A lot of times when you look through the thermal, sometimes the coons will be white, sometimes they'll be red. I, I don't know if when they're white, they ain't as hot, and uh, maybe been laying up. Pretty soon that Pretty sure that coon ain't never came down. There's a couple more up here that doesn't look like they came down. We seen them a couple hours ago when we walked through here. So they're still up in the tree. We're gonna get him and head back to the truck. Let's turn my cam loose here. Again, come here, come here. You got the wrong dog, bud. Dag on it. Come here, May. Oh, come on. They look a lot alike. Luke grabbed the wrong dog there, so we had to hurry up and catch her. Y'all should be able to hear May in there. She's a little over 400 yards away. Tree in every breath. She gave two big locates a fell tree. I've heard Cam open up a little bit. He ain't uh, barked on this tree any. Get in there, guy. Season's out in a couple days, ain't it, Luke? Yep, 28. 28. Where's it at, buddy? Boys done found the coon. I'm gonna show it to you right here. This one here was easy to find, wasn't it, Luke? Yeah, sure was. That's a big old coon. Got the harvester out, buddy. I'm ready. Done some good shooting. It come out dead. The way we like to do it here at uh, Kentucky Cooner. Guys, we have had a good hunt, ain't we? Sure have. Oh, yeah. We started off on a whole different farm than we're on now. Turned loose uh, May and Cam. We seen a lot of coons sitting up in there, didn't we? Yeah, we seen a bunch. How many do you think we seen, Red? Ten or twelve. There's a bunch of them in there. Oh yeah. We seen a bunch in there. Uh, she treed one, of course, in there. Y'all have done seen that. And uh, walking around, we seen coons looking at us in trees. I just, I really ain't seen that many down here at one time before. It's just, I don't guess the places ever been hunted. I've hunted in there a bunch, but never on that end. But, uh, after they treed, we took uh, Mac in there and. He was wind treeing, he wasn't treeing right, and we seen the coon a couple of trees over, showed you guys that. Just turned May loose again, treed another coon. You all had a good time? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We have to get out here and do it again, ain't we? Oh we're, yeah. This sure. is probably the last hunt that we're gonna record knocking coons out to next season, cause it goes out, what, two days? Yeah, yep. Monday. Yeah, Monday. For all y'all's hunting supply needs, go on over and visit KentuckyCoonerHuntingSupply.com. Until next time, put them on the wood.